Welcome back guys. Today I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about finding duplicate files within Linux. <clears throat> I know being a um, digital photographer I take a lot of pictures and um, you cop end up copying them to hard drives or to flash drives and then pretty soon you've got a whole mess of photos uh, and you're not sure how many duplicates you have this can apply to music files also or this can apply to any type of file whether it be a text file a word processing file spreadsheets so it can be a real problem now in if you're coming from Windows Windows has some utilities and uh, mechanisms to find duplicates that you may be familiar with and you're wondering what can Linux do how can I find duplicate files within Linux well there are a few different options I'm gonna go over three different options with you today <clears throat> I'll give you some simplistic examples and then you can take it from there and do a little bit of research um, do a little bit of reading on each of the three options that I, I'll review with you. So let's go over a couple things. First of all, I've got some test folders on my desktop. Test dupe one, test dupe two. Now test dupe one is merely a collection of photos and I have some duplicates within the folder and we're gonna see the three methods and how effective they are at finding those duplicates. Okay, that's test number one. Test number two is a little bit more complex. It's a folder and there are two folders within the folder and folder A and folder B are duplicates of each other. So there are multiple duplicates within these folders and it would have to do a recursive search meaning it has to f look for folders within a folder and also check those folders for duplicates so that's test number th two now test number three I'm gonna do on my flash drive my flash drive uh, is called Linux stuff in that flash drive it's got a lot of different folders and I'm gonna try each of the three methods to see what kind of sense that this can make of this uh, flash drive which is really a pretty much a convoluted mess so we're gonna try each of the three options option number one is a command line option it's a it's a command called f dupes f d u p e s now it's I say it's a command but it's actually an application which would need to be installed on your computer. You can do it within Arch or any Arch uh, spin uh, with sudo pacman s fdupes or within Ubuntu and Debian you can install it with apt-get install. Now I'm gonna use it on a few different examples and I'm gonna put these little this little example these notes because this is command line I'm gonna put this into the show notes so you'll be able to test it out on your own system now as I mentioned it's an application and it's also a command that command has multiple parameters uh, I'm gonna give you a few different parameters here and, and explain what they are but yeah, I, I encourage you to go online and do some reading uh, because there's a man page, there's a manual page on fdupes, and you'll want to take a look at that to see all the, of the variety of rules or operands that you can apply to fdupes to do whatever you want it to do. Um, because it is command line, I know it's a little bit scary, but I'm, I'm just that's why I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, different. Uh, uses of it now if I do if I enter a command f dupes dash small r capital S small m that means search recursively show the size of duplicate files and summarize the information 
Now if I run that on my test dupe one, it's going to result in a command in a in an, a, a, a statement in my terminal that says 10 duplicate files in 10 sets occupying 13.1 megabytes. So it shows the duplicate information, it shows the size of the duplicate files, <clears throat> and it summarizes the information into this one sentence. So let's open up a terminal <clears throat> and let's take a look at this particular this particular operation. Now <clears throat> you'll need to you'll need to enter the location of your folder. This is the location of my folder. And so if I copy and paste this, let me show you what that does. When I hit enter, it's going to show 10 duplicate files in 10 sets with the occupying 13.1 megabytes. If I use the same command and, and Instead, I'm going to use test dupe 2. You can see that it now shows 112 duplicate files in 92 sets, uh, uh, occupying 111.8 megabytes. Now, that will pretty much work on any file, any folder, and it'll find all duplicates, meaning photos, music, all kinds of things. Let's take a look at what happens when I run it on my flash drive. Now in order to run this on the flash drive I'll need to highlight my flash drive and then copy the location. So I'm going to enter the information and then I'm going to replace that location with the location that I just copied from my finder window. Okay now when I press enter as you can see it's it's building the file list it's gonna take a little bit of time because there's a lot of information there's about I think about uh, maybe 60 gigabytes of information so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back with you as soon as this is done okay welcome back guys so let's see what that says <clears throat> it found 20,529 duplicate files occupying 820.6 megabytes and that is um, a good example of how powerful FDupes is now if you put the dash D qualifier in addition to the RSM it's going to ask you to confirm each deletion and then it will delete the duplicate files. If you use the dash capital N option to turn off the confirmation prompt FDupes will delete all duplicates without asking you. Be very careful when you're using this uh, particular command. Just make sure that you have everything set up properly. Make sure you put your correct file or folder location and FDupes can help you identify uh, a vast majority of duplicate files. Okay, so that is option number one. That's a command line option. It's not for everybody but uh, if it doesn't bother you then that is a very powerful option. Let's look at number two. It's a program called FSLint. File System Lint. Now File System Lint is a program you can install. FSLint it's available in Arch, Debian, Ubuntu. Shouldn't have any problem finding it. Uh, but it's a graphical interface, so it makes it a little bit easier for you. When you open it, it you're going to see lots of options. I'm only going to cover the duplicates option. Now, it will check your entire directory, your home directory, if you want it to. And it will also check recursively if you check off this box. I'm going to do the same test on test dupe 1, 
test dupe 2 and my flash drive. So let's remove this here and add desktop test dupe 1. Okay. Now I'm going to click on find. It went through it found, it found 10 files, 10 duplicates. You can see here it listed them for me. And if I expand this window, it'll show me the information. And then of course you can delete those. As you can see there's a delete option. So you can go through and make decisions on which ones you want to delete. This will work on any, pretty much any type of file. I'm going to do the next folder. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add test dupe 2. Okay, it's going to work recursively. It should find 112 duplicates. Let's click on find. Okay, so it found 112 files. So again, it's reassuring to know that um, it's duplicating the results of F dupes. Now let's try my flash drive. We'll remove that folder. Okay, so let's just click on add, click on my flash drive. Okay, now it's going to it's going to search through my entire flash drive. Let's click on find. Okay, and if it it found 20,517 files. Now, I believe that pretty much matches what was found with F dupes. So, that is FS lint. As you can see, graphical interface easier to use than the command line comes up with the same results. Then you can make decisions on what you want to do to the duplicate files. Let's look at option number three. Option number three is uh, is a program called Dupe Guru. Now, Dupe Guru is available for, for uh, basic files Picture, there's another dupe guru for picture files and there's another dupe guru for music. Well, here's where I ran into a little bit of a problem. When I try to install dupe guru, so if I do a search through Yawert of dupe guru, and you can do the same through your Ubuntu and Debian installs, in this case it's going to come up with a few different options. As you can see Dupe Guru for pictures is installed on my system. Dupe Guru for music songs is installed on my system. But the plain Dupe Guru uh, for duplicate files will not install. It, it, it gives me an error message. There is a, a dependency problem that I was not able to resolve. So as a result I don't have the dupe guru plain version for standard files other than songs and pictures. So we're gonna just test out the pictures version just so you'll get an idea of what it can do. So here is dupe guru now it needs to know where you want to test so here's I'm gonna close this out I'm gonna remove that folder and you get a plus and minus now I'm gonna add my uh, test dupe one Cl highlight that and click scan as you can see it quickly located the 12 duplicates I'm sorry, the 10 duplicates that I have in test dupe 1. I'm going to do test dupe 2. So I'm going to close that out and I'm going to remove that folder. I'm going to add another folder, test dupe 2. I'm going to scan that and this should come up with 112 and it did. 
112 duplicates. Again, you can go through, highlight the ones you want to delete. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll leave you to go through all of the uh, all of the options in the menu bar but it's pretty self-explanatory it highlights all of your duplicate photos and then you can make a decision on whether to to delete them now this particular uh, version is the pictures version I don't know how successful it will be if I tell it to do my entire flash drive so let's go through and see if we can get it to do that. We're going to eliminate that file and I'm going to add my entire flash drive. Let's scan that. Now if you remember uh, the other two came up with I believe 20,713 and this has 766 duplicates marked. So it looks like it only did photos and that's what it's designed to do, pictures. Now I prefer FS Lint only because it will do pretty much anything. Uh, Dupe Guru is, has a, a specialized version for each type of file and I was not able to download the standard version. It may be available within Debian or Ubuntu I did not check that. I'll leave that to you guys to go off and uh, search and see if you can find all three versions available for your Debian or Ubuntu install. So guys that gives you three different options for finding duplicate files. <clears throat> uh, my, I prefer the command line fdupes or FS Lint. The others, because of the conflicts I encountered within the Arch uh, package management system, I would not use Dupe Guru. So I'm going to end up deleting Dupe Guru. But that leaves you with two very viable options for finding duplicate files on your system. FDupes is very powerful. As I said, do a little research, read the manual page, and you'll be able to uh, find new ways of using that on your system. FSLint is graphical, very easy to use. More than likely, I will be using that also. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, a little bit of a uh, introduction to finding duplicate files in your Linux system. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.